Hello, I wanted to upload a quick video today talking about a little trick I use to make EPROMs easier to plug in and out of circuit boards. Obviously this is something you do quite a lot of when you're working with a Homebrew 6502 computer or something like that. You often have your code stored in an EPROM and every time you change your program you need to unplug it from the circuit board and plug it into an EPROM programmer. Uh, to make that easier and to avoid bending pins and things like that, I started wrapping these little strips of paper around the EPROMs. So it looks really naff, but it actually works really well for distributing the force of pulling the EPROM out across the entire chip, trying to put it out sort of evenly, not, not like levering it from one end with a screwdriver or something like that. I mean, I've tried using, oops, I've tried using things like this before and yeah, they sort of work. It's, 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 it's sold as a chip puller. It, it has these ends on it, which sort of, tip in, you're supposed to hook it under the chip and pull. It's actually quite hard to do. I don't get good results out of that, so don't use it. Um, this though I find incredibly useful and it is extremely easy to make, so I thought I'd just show quickly how to make that. It's probably quite obvious, but yeah, whatever. So uh, it's simply a strip of paper. It's folded in half lengthways. Um, it's about 21 centimeters long. Um, reason for that is it's exactly the width of a standard A4 sheet of paper. Um, seems to be about the right length for these 28 pin chips. Um, I also have these, I don't know, is that 40 pin or something? Uh, maybe more, I, I, can't, I can't remember. But I have these larger chips which, um, this does fit around there but it doesn't, it, 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 it doesn't really, it, it, it's, it's much tighter fit and you, it's not so easy to pull out. What you really want is quite a lot of height on this so that you're applying a force at both ends fairly evenly as you, as you remove the EPROM. Well, this is an EPROM. There it is. This one's an EPROM. Obviously they're the same size and the same kind of pins, but yeah, it works for both, as you'd expect. So let's just look in quickly into how, how we can make that work. So I use a guillotine to cut it. It's not, you don't have to, um, but it makes it easier to cut a straight line. Um, to begin with, you're gonna to want to know how wide the chips are. Um, I don't. I never actually remember. It looks like about one centimeters right for that. Um, I don't know what that is in inches. Um, well, I could probably try and figure that out. It's a bit less than a half an inch. I don't know, maybe a third of an inch. Do you do thirds of inches? I have no idea how, how that stuff works. Um, you can you can convert it if you need to. So like I said, it, um, 21 and a half centimeters, sorry, 21 centimeters wide is the width of an A4 sheet of paper. I think letter is about the same if you're in the US. Um, doesn't really matter too much how long it is. Just like I said, if you're doing larger chips, you might want to use a longer strip. So all I'm gonna do is measure off, I don't have a pen handy, oh yes I do, here's a pen. I'm gonna measure off one centimeter strip Actually, no, I'm going to measure off a two centimeter strip. Um, just going to basically guillotine that off. It's where the guillotine's handy because it, uh, it, it, it does do a proper square cut. Um, but yeah, you can just do it with scissors. It's not, it's not critical um, to be accurate with that. Um, yeah, so if you've got any old data sheets printed out, you can just cut them up. Um, and you end up with a nice strip like that. The next stage is trickier. Um, you need to fold the whole thing in half because obviously it's now too wide for a chip. So I, I deliberately made it twice as wide as I needed. That's so that I could fold it in half to get a bit of extra extra strength. Um, I'm sure there are much better ways of doing this. If you had like a long ruler or something, you could score it. I don't know. I've never been very good at craft, so. Um, that's why I do digital electronics, because it doesn't matter so much how good you are with your hands. I am trying to learn woodwork as well, I'm not very good at that. So there we go, that's, that's good enough. Um, you can just check that the chip actually fits on top of it. You definitely don't want this too wide, because then it's going to get in the way of the pins. Um, you also don't want to make it too thick. Make sure you fold it down nice and nice and flat. Um, 
because you want the chip to be able to sit on top of it and plug into the breadboard uh, and have enough sort of insertion into the breadboard to, to make good contact. You definitely don't want to be making this too thick. So here's a nice fat roll of sellotape. Um, just going to cut, I'm uh, going to take plenty of that. Is that enough? That's about right. And I'm just going to stick that down on top. Again, excuse how bad I am at crafts. But this is something to be a bit careful of because you do want, like I said, you do want it to be fairly flat down. I probably shouldn't have done this on this uneven surface. Um, but you don't want lots of folds in this because it will kind of create a little bit of extra depth to the strip which will start to interfere with your IC's insertion into your breadboard. Yeah, so try and fold that as neatly as you can. Do a better job than I have. Always a good idea. Next, as you can see from this one, uh, what I do is I loop it around and then I join the two ends together. Actually, you just fold it in half and join the two ends together. And you want a couple of centimetres up there. I suppose that's an inch or something in old money. So I'll put that there. As you can see, I've about, about that much I want up here. Um, and what I'm going to do to that is wrap some more sellotape around it. Actually, let's just fold that for now and leave that. Get the sellotape out first. Oh, I've lost the end. No. I hate it when this happens. Yeah, I'm a total amateur at craft stuff, so bear with me. There we go, that'll do. Um, I'm going to get quite a lot here. Uh, um, I don't know whether it matters. I haven't studied the engineering mechanics of it, but um, what I want to do here is make a bit of a handle. Um, so let's just put that sellotape on there like that. And I'm going to wrap it around, and around, and around, and around, and that went all, all wonky. That's a pretty, pretty terrible job. Never mind. I'm going to cut that end square again, or as square as I can do by eye. But yeah, that's basically it. That's all you need to do. It's not very hard. It doesn't take expensive equipment. Just some paper, sellotape, and scissors. One further tip I would say with this is you can no longer easily see where the notch is on the chip. Um, so it can be handy to make a mark on the paper on one end and then make sure that you do align that end of the paper with the notch on the chip so that it makes it easier to put it into the Ekron programmer and your circuit in the right orientation. Anyway, that's it for this one. Just a quick tip this time on this technique. I'd be really interested to see if you guys find that useful. Um, it's certainly something that I have got a good lot of use out of since I figured out how to do it. Um, and it's very simple and easy to do. Also apologies for a bit of a break since I last uploaded a video. Um, if you remember in the previous video I mentioned, I think I did a, I uploaded a little teaser video about SD cards and using those to um, load files load data and particularly to load code into a 6502 computer and uh, yeah I wanted to give a little give, give some more details on how that worked but I wasn't quite sure what the best format was for that so um, yeah I've been making a bit of progress on that in the background and hopefully I'll upload something about that soon so yeah if you're interested in that or anything else that I do please do like and subscribe and so on um, hit the bell if you want notifications and uh, let me know in the comments if anything in particular does interest you because I'm always glad to hear that I find everything interesting, so you know I I I, I just do this for fun. If, if if you guys would find anything in particular interesting, then it's very easy for me to pivot and do that next. Thanks for watching, and have a nice weekend.